Hello, thanks for clicking on the link to watch a short video. Uh, another enhancement for 2013, and as you can tell, it's the user interface uh, and the left-hand panel, which I'll get into in a sec, and also forms. So the user interface, nice clear white background, uh, icons and font, a little bit clear, blocked, stand out more, easier to find. Right? They're kind of accentuated when you put the mouse over it. If I were to go to Edit Preferences, and, and all the menus kind of look this way too in the coloring in the background, uh, you can move the scroll bar up and down. So this is what they call the new modern view, right, versus the classic view or, or what it kind of DOS-like feel, but now definitely more modern. Similar to, and you'll see it with the new Excel and the new Outlook where that comes into play. Now, depending on your screen resolution, um, you might still have the top, top icon bar, which is fine. I can go ahead and turn that on and I have the icon bar and it's a black uh, background with you know, everything else behaves the same as far as customizing, but things pop out, and, and I have, uh, you know, kind of whitish-gray lettering, and your count bounces on the right. Now, depending on the screen resolution, if it's a smaller screen resolution, uh, you will, by default, it'll be set to the left icon bar, and I have collapsed mine. I'm going to go ahead and expand it now, and it is a great for shortcuts. It would take, it would supplant your icon bar. You can choose one or the other under that view menu. It's really your preference. But I can go to, say, the Accountant Center from here and just launch it. I can look at my calendar for today. Also, uh, you can customize, you know, the shortcuts that you want as if you were adding them to the icon bar. Same kind of functionality you're used to, just in a different way of looking at it. Also, you have uh, a link to what's due today, 23. And I can see transactions due and even then go ahead to a bill or an invoice by double clicking it or I can actually see the details just by hitting the drop down which can be very helpful and any to do's you have you can click and open from there let's go ahead to the invoice for a second we'll come back to the left icon bar I'm going to uh, go ahead and click on Olivia here double click it'll open up the invoice and you'll notice that the invoice transaction itself uh, the forms have been refreshed too um, we moved pretty much everything from below up top and consolidated in a particular way. So the main ones, you can create a new invoice, you can save it as a PDF or invoice, and it might take a little while just to find, uh, you know, the stuff, if you remember what it was before, delete or void, create a copy, memorize, mark as pending, here are the print options, shipping labels, etc., email, uh, where you can attach a file and use a doc center, right, and the add times and costs have been moved up top, apply credits have been moved up top, receive payments, etc. Uh, so then you go to formatting, here would be where you'd manage templates and go ahead and customize a particular template if you wanted to, There's additional customization, layout designer, etc. And all the windows are going to kind of inherit this new clear and better font icon that's the icon similar to, familiar to, say, Outlook or the newer Excel, okay, so it should be familiar to you take a little bit getting used to, um, but the new modern view should really stick out and be clearer for you. Of course, you can always go back to the, the icon bar at the top, but check out the left icon as well and see if it works for you and your clients. Uh, send ship, okay, and then of course running some particular reports, so like transaction journal, transaction history, etc. Um, and so things have moved around, go to the main, then I can go to uh, receive payments, and you'll notice the receive payment window also much clearer, standing out, more modern color, font, and view. So let's go back to the, um, even if I were to uh, collapse the pane, so, so you can, let me do a few things, I'll collapse the pane, I can still click on the little icons and it shows my shortcuts, etc. View balances, run favorite reports, open windows, I can see all the open windows there, expand that out, create invoices calendar, this is what I have open right now. If I go ahead to window close all, and go down to view balances. I can see the val balances and drill down. I can run favorite reports and even customize reports to add them to this section. And of course you saw the open window list and then a few other tidbits under here to do more with QuickBooks. So you have the left icon bar and you have the difference in the forms themselves. You can still use the top icon bar if you want. Uh, and then the overall user interface clarity and change new with 2013 Pro Premier Enterprise Solutions. So I hope you guys enjoy it and it really works for you and things stick out. It's easier to navigate your QuickBooks program. Thanks.